the Office of Naval Research, innovations for the future force. Power and energy technology, propelling the future force. Power and energy are essential for every naval activity at sea and ashore. The need to power a new generation of directed energy weapons and sensors, the energy demands of shore installations, and the vulnerability of delivering energy supplies to the front lines. These are all serious challenges for the future force. ONR is working to give sailors and marines new power and energy capabilities for a new era. Our sailors and marines deserve to have the best capabilities to do their mission, to fight the fight and keep the peace. The big push right now is looking at our ship power systems, the weapon systems, the sensor systems, what we call the load parts of that whole equation. Now that we have a better idea what we really have to hit in terms of the performance capability to truly match those ideally with those weapon systems. ONR is working to ensure we will generate the power needed for new weapons and sensors, like the electromagnetic railgun and laser weapons, store the energy needed for use, and due to the intense heat released by the enormous pulses of power required for these new weapons, protect the weapons with advanced thermal management to design power systems that will support the, the significant advances in radars, uh, in weapon systems, uh, in computer power, tracking systems, all these things on ships that take such an, a great amount of power to run them and give off a significant amount of heat. We have to find uh, a way to catch up and provide that uh, power density to those ships. ONR is finding groundbreaking energy solutions to power needs for new weapon systems to be installed on ships of tomorrow and today. We obviously want uh, these futuristic uh, weapons and sensor systems on our future combatants. We'd also like to use some of these, these weapons on our current fleet. That's in some ways an even more difficult problem. So that's, that's a big challenge that we have. And not only ships facing challenging power and energy needs, improving energy efficiency and increasing the use of alternative energy is also vital for installations on shore. The technology advances, the power draws in a given building today are tremendous compared to just 10 or 20 years ago. ONR sponsors real-world tests on advanced energy technologies at Navy and Marine Corps installations. Part of achieving greater energy independence must include training and supporting the next generation of Navy and Marine Corps veterans and active duty personnel working in emerging energy technologies. I think we need to put more focus on the people, people development, and the technology will come about. ONR is also committed to making sure our Marines have the energy they need, where they need it, and at the lowest possible weight and greatest possible mobility. Everything is more energy intensive. Infantrymen, infantry battalions, every airplane, every helicopter, every tank, every truck, everything uses more energy. ONR supported the development of GREENS, the Ground Renewable Expeditionary Energy System. It is powered by the sun and provides continuous power to Marines in the field. It is lightweight and can be rapidly deployed. It's an amazing technology that's developed and that green system has actually grown from strictly just greens and kind of this small power capability that supports patrol bases to now the Marine Corps is developing a full set of programs on mobile electric hybrid power systems which impact or will in the future impact almost all isolated units and impact everything up to the battalion command post. The U.S. Navy and Marine Corps have unique power and energy requirements. As new weapon systems, vehicles, ships, planes, and shore bases grow in capability, those power and energy requirements will continue to grow. There are a whole host of challenges facing our technologists right now that I guarantee you in the next 10 years will be commonplace solutions that all of us take for granted that are impossible today.
Innovative science and technology will keep America's lamp of liberty burning bright for future generations. For more information, contact the Office of Naval Research.